Hey everyone, welcome back to another figure fantasy episode. So today we're going to be discussing a tier list. This is not the Japanese tier list. I actually was using this. This is a part a a tier list uh, part of the Discord server. So I will just share the link with you guys so that you may see how it is. Um, this tier list, I like this more. The way it has been, uh, what do you call this? It has been arranged and the progression in terms of left to right. So as you can see there, the list goes from left to right in terms of usability. This means that Yoko is the best vanguard. So Yoko is here. She's the best vanguard while Midori is the worst. Um, there are occasions where a bad character performs a niche well. So again, this is not, is not really um, pointing out that the characters on the right are useless, but again, in terms of versatility, they're not versatile. They're very niche in terms of what, where or how you can use them. So without further ado, but before that, so note that blue-haired specialist is Osuke, which is this one. Okay. Um, before I you know proceed with this with this tier list, um, I just want to make clear that there, are, when you're starting as a beginner, there are a lot of um, there are a lot of uh, heroes or figures that you can use, um, um, not included here, depending on uh, on who you acquire first in this tier list. But again, you can use them; they're very good. Um, as you escalate further, you will definitely require or use um, these uh, characters or these figures. So to start with, we will start from the bottom here with specialist. So for your specialist, you have uh, Aki Akechi, which is this one, the, the white haired guy, marks effects for heal and uses ignite. Nothing special with him. Um, I've actually used him um, in a couple of matches. Um, I don't like his gameplay, to be honest. Um, and I agree that he is the last in the specialist. Next is actually Irina, which is this girl. This girl, the little girl. But again, don't be fooled about her. She actually has a big ship or ro robot to ride on. So damage over time and hits enemies in a straight line, which is actually very useful um again but she's not being used actually moving forward as you advance to the latter stages next is going to be osuke so aoe frost decent damage more on attack speed reduction and damage over time actually i like him um particularly in pvp so osuke this one the blue haired guy which is supposed to be red I don't know why he's blue here. Um, but again, he's good for PvP. Um, if you want to bring him in your team, you can actually build him for PvP. Next is going to be Sani, this this girl here. So Sani is a, a frost uh, attack on, his, on her basic attack. Heal, defense boost, and frost resi uh, resist reduction. So if you want to bring a frost team or frost damage team, Sani here is actually going to be your best, you know, overall buffer in terms of frost attack. Next is going to be this girl, which is Harriet. Um, she actually summons to, I think, robots. Um, that is, um, and also for um, her restores energy for faction, which is the red faction, and um, and red brand something I forgot the, the name. Um, but actually, she also does blind an enemy. So she's she's a fantastic range specialist. So if you have her, use her in your team. Okay, next is in the last on the list for the specialist is going to be Irene's. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her right. This girl in the Red Riding Hood uh, um, uh, outfit. <laughs> great damage for this girl line and great um, and also great healing for one ally. By the way, I've actually tried her out. I got her today and um, also has good self-heal as well. So again... She's actually a very good line damage. Um, try to use her if you have um, her. And there we have it for the specialist. Next, we'll go to this line, the melee line. So you have here your defender melee. First on the right is going to be Rico. Rico, this little girl here. Um, she's actually a good, 
uh, tank or defender to start in the first few stages of of you playing, but eventually her de her her survivability and and uh, damage dealing is not enough. But she is good though in clearing um earlier stages because she has taunt and damage reduction. So again, if you have Rico, don't hesitate to to bring her. But again, you have to move on to other defenders in the list as you move forward and play the game. Next is this white haired guy, which is Astarath. Um, he's more of an attacker than, than a tank. He transforms into a dragon. Um, again, if you need a tank, there are a lot more tougher tanks in this list or line. Next is actually Sanada. So again, more attack and counter attack. So and, uh, this guy with, with the ears here, um, is actually not really good as a tank that much, um, but is good as a counter attacker. Next is going to be Vasily. Vasily here, this uh, white haired kid, actually sits on a big robot. So don't be fooled with that picture alone. So Vasily stuns, restores health, and actually has decent damage as well for a tank. Actually, one of the top three tanks that I think are in this uh, this is actually a right uh, a correct sequence so vasily next is going to be crusos crusos i've actually i'm actually using right now big boost in defense self heal stun absorbs a lot of damage terrific terrific tank um again he's more all around than our next defender uh, in terms of damage in terms of um survivability but our next defender and our top defender would be Megan. So she has a shield, attack speed reduction, buyer deals damage, and boost defense as well. She's actually the literal meaning of a tank in this game. Very hard to kill. And you cannot get through her. Honestly, she you know, um she she is really, really a tank. Uh, a description of a tank. Okay, so the top three would be Vasily, uh, Crusus, and Megan for your tank. So try to develop them if you have them early in this game. And also for the specialist, I would actually recommend here. Um, I just want to go back to the specialist Usuke. Very good all around. Then you have Harriet and Irens. So the three of them, this guy, this girl, and this girl, I highly recommend. So next is we're going to go to the helper. So the helpers are basically gives you support, um, healing as well. Um, we'll start with uh, Aoi, A A O I. This girl, this sleepy girl here with uh, the eye mask is actually Aoi, and um, damage buff. She gives a damage buff. She also has, he gives a shield, which is actually crazy. She's actually good for PvP, by the way. Um, boosts maximum health as well. So that is that is what she brings. She doesn't bring that much uh, healing, only a shield. That is why her role is very limited. And that is why she is the last in the helpers. Next is going to be Zhao Yu, which, is, which gives health and attack speed buff. So this is this guy with, I, I don't know if that is his ears or those are horns with the glasses. But he is actually good with healing and attack speed buff. Next is going to be Mako. So Mako here, the pink the pink girl, pink haired girl, um, has health restore, damage buff, and crit chance buff. Again, she has a lot of buffs and she's a good all-around helper. But again, the top three here are actually accurate. So I'll start with Sakura. So heals, silence, and attack buff. Sakura here cannot be underestimated. I've actually um, tried to use her recently before not though. Um, he, she can even silence bosses. So again, Sakura is very good for PvE. And PvP both. Yeah. So next is going to be um, Erixia. So Erixia is here. The, the, the purple haired girl. Um, Erixia has critical damage. No. Grants uh, share health damage taken. 
So everybody shares health so they don't die easily. Sometimes I actually combo or bring both Zephyr and Eryxia in my team so that uh, it's going to be more survivable. The one has uh, share damage and the one heals. So again, it's a good combo to bring. But going back to Eryxia, so grants uh, shared uh, damage taken, grants lifesteal to the team as well so that they could, you know, um, gain back their health and crit damage boost and defense buff. So that is how many, you know, she gives to the team. So again, she's the second in our helpers and for the first in our helpers, which I'm actually happy to say that I've had her since I started this game, which is Zephyr, heals and restores energy. So if you want your ultimates to 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 be to be cast as you know as frequently as possible, you need energy, and Zephyr is that girl. And she also heals a tremendous amount of health, freezes enemies as well, and ultimate power buff as well. Again, she's the top top um helper in this list and i agree with this list so you have uh, sakura erixia and zephyr as the top uh helpers in this game next we're going to the militarist so these are your ranged um figures so your militarist will start with uh rai ryoma this guy um this guy is actually ha has a simple kit so this white haired guy High damage for single target and also has lifesteal. So that's his kit. Very, very simple. Um, he does well in single, you know, single target damage. I've felt his damage actually in one match in PvP, but he doesn't offer that much aside from that. While Ophelia, this girl with the visor, with the green and yellow visor, takes out the lowest health enemy, deals AoE when the target is defeated. This girl. So... Again, um, she is going to be one of your finishers or um, when your enemies are low health, she will actually be beneficial to you. Next is going to be Ri, um, this blue blue cap girl. So Ri, multiple hits on a single target, boost on own attack and attack speed and damage immunity. So um, while Ri is actually good, her limitation is she just deals damage to one single target. So that is why she is uh, near the bottom part of militarist or range. Next is going to be um, Lubu. So Lubu here is actually kind of good already. Um, once you have him, he has basic, uh, basic attack deals extra damage, which is actually good, especially if you could boost his attack speed. Um, and he also boosts his own attack speed, uh, retaliates after enemy unleashes um, uh, their ultimate. So again, he is actually very good. If you have him, you actually use him already. Okay, for the next one, I actually fall, fell in love with Vazer Win when I first saw her when I was actually re-rolling. So I got her extra damage to frosted enemies great aoe damage and passive aoe damage so if you want a your ultimate range to have uh, too much aoe then vazarwin here with the purple cloak um, is actually your girl next is actually one of the best uh ranged uh, figures that we have here which is uh, zarola this girl so you get her um um a free for uh, uh, on your first purchase Unfortunate for me, I already have her at the three pink stars. So I'm very happy that I already upgraded her. She is one of the figures that actually is vital in your progression in PvE. Very good in dealing damage to bosses. <coughs> okay, for Zarola, very high damage, attacks enemy in a line. Each hit increases by 20%. So it actually compounds up. Um, uh, extra hit that did not hit the enemy. Let's say, for example, you killed the enemy before um, the last hit. The extra hit is converted into energy. So again, she recycles energy that well and uh, is prepared for her next attack or her next ultimate. Okay, so last on this list is going to be Camille. Camille is this guy, so don't be fooled uh, because his name is Camille. But again, he does great AoE damage, damage boost, 
of 30%. Deals greater damage to locked enemies. So locked enemies, um, he locks enemies in place and they cannot move. And she and he can lock multiple, and he has multiple lock triggers as well. So he can mo lock multiple targets. So again, once they're locked, his damage actually increases on them. So beware of this guy, Camille. And the last in our list, uh, we're gonna be uh, discussing the Vanguard, which is your melee, your damage dealers. First is Midori, this one on the logo of the tier maker. So Midori is a very simple Vanguard melee. Frost increases crit damage chance and life steals. That is what she brings. She's actually, she's actually decent in the earlier stages, but if you want to progress further, there are actually a lot here in your Vanguard um to start with actually once you start with zuzumi this girl um zuzumi um uh, summons boxes aoe hits and damage reduction she's actually good because i was able to bring her in the early stages of pve and the campaign um she's actually very good but now I, i'm not using her because i'm you know her, her damage is actually not that great but again for the earlier stages suzumi will actually help you because i actually brought her with my team next is going to be yuna this one with the red hat so yuna great single target damage stuns restores health damage buff and attack speed so again she's she's actually used frequently right now in pvp so you might as well consider her in pvp she's actually great in terms of her stuns and her single target damage if you don't have other options um you can actually use her so from the next is going to be zhao yun this guy with uh, with the ears i actually like what he brings as a melee um uh, figure so zhao yun damages two targets in a line for his ultimate has a shield which actually is very beneficial to his kit because he acts like a berserker as he lowers his health um, he gets an attack speed boost. Uh, and another, uh, even before that, he already has an attack speed boost. Once his health lowers down, he gets another attack speed boost. So that is why he is actually very good. He can really um, stay with you in the battle um, because of the shield, even though that uh, his health is actually low already. Again, very interesting um, um melee attacker very good for pvp and for pve next is going to be yamazaki use this uh, person here this uh um person with a knight helmet on him i like his design actually is he's, he's designed like a samurai so yamazaki attacks the last enemy in the line and thus health restore um the damage that he he brings to to the to, to sorry the damage that he deals to the last enemy is actually tremendous so basically what he will target in the opposite uh, in the opposite side will be your healers and your range and your damage dealers that are actually at the back line so he is good at that and uh, you might consider bringing him i haven't I haven't used him. I just got him today. But again, he's going to be, you know, it's going to be good, uh, particularly in penetrating. If he, if he can't go through the defense in the front, might as well go through the back, right? So that is what he brings. Next is going to be Alfred. This one with the shades. He looks like Cyclops, but he's not Cyclops. So Alfred um, sounds like the butler of, uh, of Batman. Anyway, um, Alfred here, he has block damage. Very good survivability. Attack speed boost, attacks three enemies, um, you know, uh, not necessarily in a line, but attacks three, um, I think in three different directions. Um, he gives attack speed reduction, life steal uh, for his basic attack and damage boost. That is why he's actually very survivable because of the damage block and uh, life steal on his basic attack. So you might actually consider him in, uh, in PvP. Not so much though in PvE. I've tried bringing him for the bosses, but again, not that much damage. But again, he can be very good in PvP. As I remember, I've been using him for a while and um, you really have to build him um, that well. Okay, next, uh, there we have the last two, which is Yuina Mizuki. 
So this girl, this girl here, don't be you know fooled by her. She ha she has a lollipop. She does attack speed boost, health restore, damage reflection, and uh, she actually um, challenges an enemy on the other side to a duel. So a duel is like a taunt that an enemy attacks um, her. And um, during that duel, that enemy cannot do the ultimate skill. So it's actually automatic kill when you encounter Yuina in a duel. So again, attack speed boost, very high attack speed boost, health restore as well, and damage reflection. Or uh, yeah, damage reflection and duel. So again, she's very good. You, you don't want to cross her path. Um, very good for one on one, and more or less, if she wants to take out a specific uh, figure on the other side, then she will do it. Next is going to be Yoko Kasumi, our last one. So she is, uh, what can I say? Uh, boosts attack speed, damage, stuns, uh, especially in ghost state. Uh, she has really an insane damage. Um, seals for a massive um, stacks seals for a massive explosion so what she does is she 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 stacks seals with your enemy and um, deals massive damage with that enemy and the surrounding ally that that enemy has so again she is actually forced to be reckoned with and uh, I still haven't gotten her so hopefully in the future I could get her I still lack three of um, the most uh, powerful um, figures here but again guys um, this is just a guide on how you're going to progress more or less you can actually start with um, um, the the figures on your right because I did that because again they are good but during the progression you eventually have to look for the more powerful um, figures on the left that is the deal, guys. I'm sorry. But again, the game escalates and, and, and the enemies escalates as well. And they become tougher and tougher as you progress in the game for PvE and for PvP. Okay, guys. So for those who have stuck this far in this video, I hope that you enjoyed the, the my explanation for the tier list. This tier list, again, I will be placing a link in the description below. And so that you can reference this when you build your own teams. And again, guys, I'm not saying that uh, anybody here is bad. I'm saying that um, if you have the figures on the right, use them and escalate them towards the figures on the left uh, as you move and play through this game. Okay, guys. So again, for those who have stayed this far, please consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. And also, guys, don't forget to click that bell icon because uh, I'll be uh, putting out lots more figure fantasy videos in the future. Also, guys, don't forget to uh, put a like to this video. And thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.